Hello, welcome to CCI. My name is Tad Armbruster, and this is the first part in our troubleshoot series. We want to work with you today on coating some emulsion. This is a dual cure DXP, and we're going to show you how to mix it and use it and coat some screens and go through the process. So let's get started. So here we have a screen. This is the first part in the step. So we're going to use 155 mesh. This is a white mesh, monofilament, plain weave. We're going to use a emulsion, which is our DXP, which is a dual cure for textile, which is good quality product. You're going to need a scraper card. You're going to need water. You're going to need a scoop coater. I prefer a plastic spatula if you need to scrape or stir. There's also metal spatulas if you need. And then you're going to need a wiper. Maybe perhaps use one of our Enviro wipes, which is wet and ready to go, or you can use a paper towel. Okay, so let's get started. This is DXP emulsion. When we open the box, you can see you get a stir stick. You get the emulsion. You get a Diazo. And you get the directions. For opening the quart container, sometimes getting an ink spatula or screwdriver or something like that will make it easier to open. Basically just pry around the container side and that will help open it up. Very easy, ready to go. If you have emulsion on the lid, sometimes just scrape this off and put it back into the quart. You want to try to maximize your total amount of emulsion that you can use. So now we're going to open the diazo. You want to be careful that all the diazo is in the bottom of the container. You don't want to shake it up or do anything like that. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of powder, dust. Basically the fill point for this is right at the top of the label. I want to get a graduated container so it's easier to fill and fill the diazo. Now you want to put the lid back on, put it back on tight, and we want to shake it. And basically I want to disperse the diazo into the water fully, so maybe shake it for a good minute or two. Now we're going to take this diazo, after we've shaken it up, we're going to add it to the emulsion. Try to be careful, don't get this on your hands, it will turn your skin yellow for a couple days. If you have the chance, maybe use rubber gloves or something like that. Now we're going to start to stir it. What I like to do is slowly turn the emulsion over and try to get the water down into the product. Then we scrape the sides and we want to thoroughly stir and mix until the emulsion is all one color and that it's even color. So no dark spots, no pink spots. And when you scrape the sides, you'll see some pink come back in. That's why we use a wood stick so you don't scrape the container and get black parts in your emulsion. You don't want to do that. Always use a soft stir stick, whether wood or plastic, never metal. And again, you want to get that kind of pinkish color, not the bright orange from the diazo. So you want to keep stirring it until you get it thoroughly dispersed. And there you have a emulsion that is thoroughly dispersed and mixed. A couple things I like to do is one, put the lid back on and let it sit for a couple minutes. 
The other thing is mark your label so you know when you sensitized it. Put the date on the label when you sensitize it so you know when, when it was mixed. I also like to rinse off the lid because as you see here it's still virgin emulsion versus the mixed. And what I like to do is just rinse that off so it's clean, wipe it with a towel and put it back on the emulsion. Okay, after a couple hours, your emulsion should be nice and smooth and not have air bubbles. Stirring it adds air bubbles. So a lot of guys tend to want to stir the emulsion before they add it into the coating trough and I don't like to do that. I like the emulsion to be as stable as possible and not have a lot of air in it. If you do stir it a lot, what will happen is you'll get air bubbles. So we want to add it to the trough. And for coating the amount of screens, I want to put maybe a third into the trough. Another thing I like to do is have a scraper card nearby and when you're in this pourable angle, and you go to end, you start to tilt it back, and then you just scrape it off. Okay, so now you've filled your trough. One of the things I want to talk about is you have two coating sides on this trough. One is a sharp edge, the other is a round edge. Now for 155 mesh, we want to use a sharp edge. Now anything below 200 mesh, I want to use a sharp edge. Anything over that, I want to use a round edge. Now we're ready to coat. We always want to start on the downside, the print side of the screen. Reason being is you want to create a gasket. So we coat this side first and then we flip it over and coat the squeegee side which will push the gasket back to the downside. So first you want to kind of center yourself from side to side. Uh, you want to coat your trough all the way and let it flow out so that you get good flow across the screen. And then even pressure and even time. Then lean your screen back up, scrape it at the top. We're gonna to do a two and two coating, so we'll come back. We'll apply and we'll scrape. Again, lean it back, let the emulsion go back into the tray and scrape it. Then I'll flip it over. Again, scrape it at the top. Lean it back so the emulsion goes back into the tray and scrape it off. And I like to take a scraper card and scrape off any heavy deposits. So come back, scrape. You want to dry it like this, squeegee side up. Okay, so now we've finished coating. You want to take the emulsion out of the trough and put it back in the bucket. So. I want to start to pour it and then take my scraper card and just scrape it down into the bucket. Getting as much of the emulsion back into the container as possible. Okay. And so after you washed all the emulsion out, you want to come back with a dry cloth or a paper towel. You want to make sure your trough is completely clean. Okay, just to follow up on what we went through today, when mixing the emulsion, make sure you thoroughly stir the diazo in and that there's even color all the way across it. When you're pouring into the trough, make sure you wipe the bucket and keep the bucket clean when you're applying the emulsion back into the bucket after you've coated. Again, wash your trough up good, make sure the edges are nice and smooth and that you don't have any nicks or thumps into it. The other thing is, we talked about which side of the trough to use, sharp edge for low mesh counts under 200, and round edge for higher mesh counts over 200. With that coarser mesh, you don't need to apply as much, you can use the thinner edge, 
And with a fine mesh, you need to apply more. That's why we use the round edge. Make sure you wash everything thoroughly and keep all your tools and troughs and buckets clean so next time you go to apply emulsion, everything's ease of use and you can go right on to it. Thank you for joining us and if you have any questions, comment below. Have a good day.